YouTube and welcome to my channel where we're going to take a look at the Firefly Micro Action Cam. Well, not really this one because this is the one that came out last year. This is the 1080p version and last year I did a review on this and that review was super popular. So I'll put a link to it below. Why would I use this little camera? It's so tiny in size. It is massively tiny. Well, I put it on my FPV race quads and I put it on other small RC vehicles because it's so tiny it weighs nothing and it's perfect. Now, guess what? They came out with the next version, which is the Firefly 2. So this is the one we're going to look at in this episode. So let me just open the box and see what's inside, see what falls out here. There's always sorts of things that come out. First thing in the box, we have the instructions, and it tells you right in the instructions. It records at 1080p, 60 frames per second, or 2.5K at 30 frames per second, and it only weighs 31 grams. Hmm, that is really good. Next thing in the box is the Firefly 2, and it comes in this little protective sleeve. You can sort of pull that off and get at your Firefly firefly inside so there's the sleeve removed and here is the firefly right here there's the 2.5k camera and if you look at this side you put a micro sd just like the firefly one you can put a micro sd to record really high quality video you charge it up with your little usb charger right here it comes with a cable here's your two buttons for your turning it on putting in photo mode or video mode or putting it in 1080p or 2.5k on this side here we have a little spot where you're going to plug in an external device to adjust all the internal settings and here's the device right here and if you fly fpv race quads you are used to seeing something like this you just plug it into that little hole i showed you on the firefly use these buttons click 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 and it adjusts the osd on screen display to the settings of of your choice. Also included in the box you have a little tripod stand or you can use it as a holder on a quad. You put your little camera here and it keeps it at a nice angle for flying a quad and there are included straps right here you get some straps to attach this to this portion and hold it on very tightly and as mentioned earlier you charge up your little camera with this here usb they also include a nice little video out here so that you could plug this in you got your usb to charge it up and yellow usually means video out and you plug this into a source so you can see the video coming from the camera when you want to adjust settings so now to check out the actual video quality from this hawkeye firefly number two i've attached it to my little 180 race quad here take it for a flight and we'll see what the video looks like all right before i take this camera out for a flight i just want to show you i plugged in the little device that's going to let you access the osd so you can change the settings and i didn't realize how many settings there are to change so i think i better show you this really quick so you just plug this in and all you have to do is take the included video cable that comes here and plug that in the video portion right here and what you do is take the other end which had a yellow connector on it and find some device that came from the 1930s or back here i have an old tv that uh, is a sony and it has one of those old video inputs so i just connected it to that and basically it's shooting out a from the camera right here I'm getting a video signal right there and that's what you see so i can set up the osd so you can see on my tv i'm going through all the different settings you can change so if your camera is showing something you don't like well this is how you basically change it and uh, that's pretty much it all right let's get out and fly okay i'm out of my local field with my vortex 180 and i have the firefly 2 attached to the front that's just velcroed on and there's a little strap going around it and what you're going to see next is video from this flying i'll do about 30 seconds to one minute of video with a little bit of music and you can check out how good the camera looks here we go Okay, so now I'm going to stick the Firefly 2 on this here RC car. This is an Arma 3S. Goes extremely fast, and let's see how good it is. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any softening, so it's going to sit up top here. See how I have elastics? It's going to sit up top, 
and it's going to get uh, a lot of vibrations. So I don't know, it's going to shoot this way and you should see all the cool stuff. <laughs> So that was my super quick review of the Firefly 2. You saw it on an FPV drone and you saw it on an RC car. So what did you think? If you liked it, tell me below because I haven't seen the footage yet. I have no idea. I recorded it in 2K. I have it defaulted to 2K. So when I turn it on, it goes into 2K video recording at 30 frames per second. And that's what you should have seen. So it should have looked okay. I don't know about the vibrations though, because there is no vibration dampening or electronic image stabilization in this. But all in all, it's very small, very light. You can put it on the tiniest of RC things or anything you really want. And um, yeah, hopefully it works out well. So if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna put links below where you can find this thing. It's not very expensive. That's why it's very popular. You'll see that uh, just like last year when the Firefly 1 came out, they sold out really quick. Firefly 2 has been on the market for just over a month or so now, and it's probably gonna sell out really quick. So check it out. It's very inexpensive. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See you then, bye.